Welcome back, beautiful beings. Today, we're, do it. we're doing do-it-yourself projects. Jot, stencil wheel. And this stencil wheel is from Dollar Tree, and it has a bunch of different owls on it, six to be exact. And we're gonna try two projects. We're gonna try it with paint and ink, okay? So, I got a piece of scrap, I got an owl, and we're gonna put the owl down right there. And I got a glass and a brush where I can just use that tip to put the to put the paint in. <laughs> and I got four different kinds of paint. I got burnt lumber. I got Pueblo. I never thought I'd use this color one. But bought that it was on clearance for 50 cents <laughs> so I got it <laughs> brown oxide but the pupil makes a really nice fall color nutmeg and I hope the brown oxide no it's lighter but these two are kind of one's darker one's not but I'm gonna start out with a lighter color first just so I don't even have a napkin just so I don't cover it up. Okay. I do not want to color up the lighter color, so that's why I'm starting with that first. Okay, so let's do this. And let's hold it down really, really good. Maybe we should made it, make his feet darker. Start, let's put, hey, let's separate the colors. We'll put the light color in here. Are you ready? I picked the wrong part up. Oh, oh, just fell on the floor. Beautiful thing. But it turned out these two are not blended in together very well. When I ripped the paper, I should have waited for it to dry. Crap, crap, crap. But that's how we learn, right? So I'm gonna wait for this to dry, then I'm gonna lay it back down and redo it, okay? There, see any more rip spots, beautiful beings? <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna get a different piece. I don't want to touch that where it's wet because I can't, the stencil's so big. Now, I was thinking, let me raise you up. I want it the one that's flying. There's one that's flying. We'll find him. There he is. There he is. Let's do this one. Stick in. Doing the same colors. I wonder if a glitter one would look cool out of that. I'm up the paper. Let's see how it looks. Is that already ripping right there? 
it is. Huh. See, it's already ripping. And then you gotta remember to take the paper off that side if it is ripping. bottle I put my makeup sponges on and we're gonna need four colors so we're gonna get four of them out of here Cut him off. Now you just have an option which apples you like and which ones you don't with what. Put this one over here. Get this out of the way. Move my paint so I don't spill it. Because <laughs> you know how I am with spilling paint. I'm very good at it. Alright. Let's try some ink. There's some shimmer. Okay. I kind of want to fill the body in somehow. I really do. I think he looks cute. What do you think? He needs something for his eye, I think. He thinks he does. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> yes, he needs something for it. I right. let me go get another color. Okay, beautiful beings. Another idea. <laughs> All right, I'm taking vintage photo ink, and I'm thinking around him. Show you this. Right. You can keep it like this, or you can ink up the edges, or you can take a dauber and put color in them. So you got paint and you got ink. Okay inked up around the edges, colored in the middle, not colored in the middle. I prefer probably like the colored in. If I had a brighter, oh, let's do the gold. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, paint, ink. Okay, now let's finish. Let's finish, because I got a bunch to do.
There he is. <laughs> Little chubby owl, huh? Be cute. Okay, for the frames, these are all the colors. I got Archive Ink colors and I got some distress because these are the only two yellow. I have yellow and archival ink, but it got colored. <laughs> So I'm gonna start out with this vibrant yellow first. It's squeezed lemon, no wonder. <laughs> Look at that, see? That was my favorite used one. So I got another one. <laughs> Just don't use these on edges, or they'll wear out really fast. Like if you're edging something up like this, these wear out fast, so don't do that with these. Just, just letting you know, if you want, go for it, but it wears them right out. Okay, now I just want brown in there, see? And that's why I like these two, because you get into little crevices you can't with it. Big dauber. Look at that. I don't know how I cut it out though. Oh, and then I didn't think I have to go over it. Ooh, what color? I'm thinking maybe this color? The plum? To fill it in because I definitely want that filled in. So let's see. Ooh. Don't want to take the other colors away. Remember, we're cutting this out too. There we go. Okay, beautiful beings. I went over him with plum. It's paint it doesn't blend in the ink so much and I highlighted her eyes with that gel pen <laughs> okay see the difference that one blends in too much but if you do it with the paint and then go over it with the ink it looks way better okay it blends it way better this just blends everything in together you can hardly tell the colors apart Let me figure, let me cut these out, figure something out with the eyes, and I'll be back. Okay, beautiful beings, change of plans. This is like totally washed out. So I'm gonna add some paint. I'm going to add some paint. I'm going to do the lightest paint first. metallic bronze metal there I think that looks way better now you can see her okay beautiful beings why she's drying add the eyes. Okay. I got a bunch of different ones here.
Okay, beautiful beings. I'm gonna give you a close up of these. Our little owls. They're all dry and eyed. <laughs> I hope you had a hoot watching this video. And I gotta remember to use the makeup the makeup appliers, applicators, whatever you call them. But I really like this one, even though I did it with a paintbrush. I really like that because it's like kind of some of it's like standing up because the paint was so thick. I can't see that, but I really like that one. And I got this one and the wording. I went around it. The wording with the bronze, metal, metallic. See that? Okay. And then we can just like incorporate that in there somehow. But I'm going to, this is the inside of our autumn pocket file. And I'm gonna put a couple of these in there. And that's what I'm gonna be working on next, okay? Have a wonderful everything.